Sherdot.com here with Fyodor Emelianenko's manager, Vadim Finkelstein. Thank you for taking the time to join us. Thank you. So. Can a deal be struck with the UFC without M1 co-promoting? Нет. Мы сделали предложение, мы считаем оно нормальное, потому что мы не просто просим возьмите нас в долю. Мы даем великого бойца, и мы тоже очень много можем сделать для UFC в других странах. No. We're a really big company, and we made we're, we're a good company, and we made them really good offer. And it's not like we came to them and we back just you know takers. We are presenting really one of the great fighters of the world, and it's not like we try only to earn money. We develop MMA all over the world. Crazy Russians, soccer stadiums, uh, you know, Fedor is overrated. These are a lot of statements that have been made over the last couple of years. How hard is it to get past that when you're negotiating? No, ничего тяжелого не было на самом деле. Я понимаю прекрасно Дэна Уайта. It was not really very hard and very difficult. I can understand perfectly well Dana White. Я бы на его месте, может быть, тоже обзывался и ругался. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe if I was on his place, maybe I would also, you know, just use bad words. Они, они действительно достигли многого. Because they really achieved a lot. И они много сделали ММА, я их очень уважаю за это. And they did a lot for MMA, and I really respect them a lot for that. Но на это я не обижаюсь, потому что я просто не обращаю внимания. Я понимаю. And I don't feel offended or insulted because I just do not pay attention at that. Я не знаю, что. Что у них в голове? I don't know what they have in their heads. Но мы, у нас есть другие возможности. But we do have other opportunities. Мы не в безвыходном положении. We are not in the situation where we do not have any way out. Поэтому, если они примут это предложение, мы будем с удовольствием с ними работать. That's why, if they accept our offer, we'll be happy to work with them together. Если не примут мы пойдем дальше. If they do not accept our offer, we'll move further. И мы сегодня не смотрим на предложение, где мы больше заработаем. And today we are not reviewing offers where we can earn more money. А что нам даст больше в будущем наше развитие? But we review options uh, and we review offers which will be able to give us the development perspective in future. Скотт Кокера мы знаем очень давно. We've been knowing Scott Cocker for pretty long time. Это очень хороший человек. He is a very good personality. Можно работать. And it's good to work with him. Но мы пока не определились. But we haven't determined anything yet. Do you feel an obligation to have Fedor fight the best heavyweights in the world? Ну, если они посмотрят список, с кем Федор дрался. So if you look at the list of fighters whom Fyodor met already, so these were the best, one of the best fighters. It doesn't mean that if you're in the UFC, then if you're not in the UFC, then it means that it's not the best. And that does not mean that if the fighter does not belong to the UFC, he cannot be the best fighter. I don't think that Brock Lesnar is the best fighter in the world. Flipping speaking, I do not consider Brock Lesnar to be the best fighter in the world. Это очень хороший боец. He is a very good fighter. И много такого уровня бойцов сегодня. But there are a lot of fighters of his level. И я думаю, что мы всегда найдем достойного соперника Федору. And I think we'll always be able to find the proper opponent to Fyodor. Но болельщики хотят этот бой. But Fans do want that fight. Поэтому мы предложили UFC сделать этот бой. That's why we offered to the UFC to organize such a fight. И вы знаете, что мы никогда, ни я, ни Федор, не отказывались ни от одного боя, ни от одного оппонента. And you know that neither me nor Fyodor never refused from any one opponent. Can you clarify Fedor's contract? He obviously had a contract with affliction that is different from M1 Global. Федор никакого отношения, ну, говорит. Ну, я понял, я тогда отвечаю. У нас была сделка между M1 Global и Affliction на три боя. So M1 Global and Affliction had a contract for three fights. 
Федор э, никогда не имел никаких контрактов с Affliction. Федор never ever had any contracts with Affliction. Это наша сделка между Affliction и M1 Global. That was M1 Global and Affliction deal. Но третьего боя, к сожалению, не состоялось. But the third fight, unfortunately, Наш did not happen. Будет, будет разбираться с этим. Да? Our turn is going, you know, to follow on that. When can we expect to see Fedor fighting once again? В этом году, я сказал, в этом году точно будет. This year, definitely this year.